Dave Palumbo with another RX Muscle Supplement Review. Today we're going to be talking about essential fatty acids. You know that's one of my favorite topics to talk about. Uh, I produce a product from Species Nutrition known as Omegalyze that contains omega-3 and omega-6 essential fatty acids. The omega-3s being DHA, EPA, and the omega-6 intermediate being the GLA. There's one, however, omega-6 intermediate that I don't have in omegalyze, and it's known as arachidonic acid. It's a pro-inflammatory essential fatty acid. In other words, it causes inflammation, acute inflammation in the body. And so a lot of people don't usually in include that in a health supplement. And that's why I didn't, to be honest with you, include it in my original omegalyze formula. A lot of us thought, hey, if you eat chicken and meat, you don't really need, you don't really need extra arachidonic acid. And you know what? I learned something myself every single day. I have an open mind. I'm always taking in new information and reformulating my opinions based on the research that comes out there. And Bill Llewellyn and I, okay, Bill Llewellyn, who is probably most well known for his Anabolics book, um, and who is also the owner of Molecular Nutrition, and I've been talking about arachidonic acid supplementation for years now. And he's been doing research study after research study to try to prove what he's always believed uh, was, and that was that Bodybuilders and people who exercise at an elite level need extra arachidonic acid, not just what's in the food. Just like they need supplemental form of vitamins and minerals and stuff like that because we have a much greater need for it. And I think that, you know, I, I, I was kind of brainwashed by the whole, you know, jargon that, you know, you don't want inflammation in the body. But the, the, the key is that there's a, there's a difference between different types of inflammation. There's what we call acute inflammation, which occurs right after training. In other words, you work out, your body produces a tremendous amount of inflammation caused by the breakdown of muscle fibers and this arachidonic acid is released from the membranes of the muscle cells and it causes uh, them to turn into what we call prostaglandins or local acting hormones that then send out a signal for inflammation. Repair me, repair me, repair me. And if you reduce that acute inflammation by taking drugs like ibuprofen, okay, or even aspirin to that degree, um, what you're doing is you're taking away that signal and actually it, you can actually inhibit muscle gains and that's why a lot of uh, research over the last five years has come out that you shouldn't take non-steroidal anti-inflammatories after you exercise because it might inhibit the growth uh, or the repair process and that's because you're reducing this acute inflammation now if you have chronic inflammation in your body caused by you know degenerative diseases like cancer uh, rheumatoid arthritis or regular osteoarthritis and you have constant inflammation that's not good for the body okay we know that by reducing that we see a benefit but we don't want to reduce the acute inflammation caused by exercise in other words that's a self-induced inflammation and what arachidonic acid does is it adds to that if you take this in supplemental form these pills are 250 milligrams each and you could take anywhere from 250 to 1000 milligrams a day the research shows, and Bill Llewellyn has proven, uh, done it through the research, that number one, we get an upregulation in gene expression for muscle protein synthesis. Okay, we know that for a fact. We also know that um, we see increases in lean muscle tissue gains with this, the use of this product, and he's shown it experimentally. And we also, what's even crazier, have shown that actually total body inflammation does not rise with the use of, of arachidonic acid. That's something that I think everyone would have expected the opposite of. And lipid profiles are not negatively affected. As a matter of fact, they've actually improved with the use of arachidonic acid, which is not surprising me, because if you're deficient in, in an essential fatty acid, it could throw the balance of your body off. And, and I can absolutely see this coming out as the way it did. Now, it also doesn't surprise me that athletes have a higher requirement for this essential fatty acid, especially because it's a signaling compound for the body to repair itself. So, you know, I have to say shame on me because I was wrong that you don't need extra. And because I, I realized that this is, this is something that could actually be maybe one of the secret ingredients that maybe guys are missing in the bodybuilding world, I said to Bill, look, you know what? I don't want to make my own version. You already did it great already. You have a patented ingredient. I'm going to sell your, your version. So Bill and I came up with a deal together where he sells to me, and I'm just going to be selling this now on DavePalumbo.com. I'm selling it at one of the most aggressive prices on the web, so you, I don't think you can get it cheaper anywhere else. And I want you guys to test it out, and I want you to let me know how it works. I have a couple of my clients on it already, and 
every single one of them has told me that they feel more sore after they train. Now, what, why is that important? Because soreness after training is not because your muscles are damaged and they're hurting. It's because they're, they've become damaged and they've released a lot of arachidonic acid from their membranes. What arachidonic acid does is it converts into this something called a prostaglandin, which is a local acting hormone, and these prostaglandins actually cause pain. Almost like, you know, when you get like, have the flu and you get that achy feeling? Prostaglandins cause pain. And when you take an extra arachidonic acid and you're actually getting more signal being sent out, okay, you might feel a little sore, more sore because of this extra arachidonic acid being produced. And that's good because that's going to mean your body is going to prioritize repairing and building muscle. So we're creating more signal for muscle uh, protein synthesis to occur. And that to me tells me something is definitely going on that's good. Now, I won't know for you know, 8, 12, 16, 32 weeks exactly what the benefits were to the athletes that are using it, but I have a feeling, and my intuition tells me, and Bill's research has proven, that taking this supplement or adding extra arachidonic acid to your regimen will indeed increase protein synthesis in the body. And that's exciting to me, because that's something that we haven't seen in a number of years, something new to come out, a, a nutritional supplement that actually can benefit the bodybuilder from a performance aspect, from a repair aspect, and from a muscle building perspective. And I think that it warrants definitely testing out on your body. You know, if I was in the midst of my own bodybuilding you know, career where I should try to put on massive amounts of muscle, I absolutely would be on this product 100% because I did not leave any stone unturned when I competed. I wanted every extra edge I could possibly get, and taking X Factor, I believe, okay, will provide the one of the essential fatty acids that everyone neglects that is gonna be absolutely imperative to building muscle. So, once again, combined with maybe Omegalyze that I produce from Species Nutrition, I think this makes a great one-two punch of essential fatty acids combined with a high-protein diet, and I think you can't go wrong. I'm Dave Palumbo with another RX Muscle Supplement Review.